Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story, and today we're at the greatest muscle car show on the planet, Rosemont, Illinois, the Muscle Car and Corvette National. Now I'm here with Tom. Tom, good to see you. We've good done one of your too. cars before. Yes. And Jim Matson. And Jim is Mr. Pontiac as far as I'm concerned. When you have a Pontiac and it's a unique one like this, well, it's good to have Jim here. So I'm going to first of all say, Tom, what did you bring today? Uh, production 66 Ram Air GTO. And now I'm going to let the expert, Jim, tell us what that means and how many of these are there. Well, the 66 Ram Air GTO is probably the rarest Pontiac out there. It's, and very little of them move and knowing about the car. Uh, there's a bit of a confusion as far as production numbers. I'm showing production of 190 motors, but yet 110 automobiles being produced. So I'm not sure which number is right, but in any case, the number of cars that have been found over the last 50 some odd years is just a handful. I think I've found five so far. So and this is, yeah, we've got somebody in the background. Just a second, move this camera so I can make sure I can hear you. So just for clarity, I heard you say there's only about five of these left to be known to exist. That's correct. That's correct. Jim, let me take time. So Tom, how long have you had this car? Uh, for about seven or eight years now. And did you know it was special right off the bat, or you just bought it because you thought it was cool, or how did it all happen? No, I knew it was special right off the bat, and uh, Jim and I had kind of uh, coordinated a car, and Jim gave me a heads up that it was for sale. So Jim, Jim, you let him know it was here? Yeah. And, and Tom, just for clarity, you love rare Pontiacs. That's kind of your thing. Absolutely. So where does that where does that come in your makeup? How does that all work out that you have this rare Pontiac kind of thing in your DNA? Well, it just goes back to my history. When my, my dad used to buy Pontiacs, and I got addicted to them, and so just got more addicted to the rare pieces. And, and how did you connect up with Jim? Um, we've just known each other over the years and just been a big Pontiac fan, and so... With it's all it's the fun to have a guy like that on your side. Oh, right? absolutely. <laughs> yeah, right. It's hard to do without him. Yeah, we, we can't do anything without him. And Jim, it's such a treat to have you here on this rare one as well, just to verify it. You know, I guess you'd say if it was a Ford, they have the Marty report. If it's a Pontiac, well, you want Jim to tell you. So here we are. So let's go to the trunk because that's where it kind of gets interesting. And just before we open the trunk, let me show the trunk by itself. That's beautiful. I always really liked the louvered taillights. Tail lights. I thought that was just such a cl nice, clean touch. So let's uh, open it up, shall we? Yes. Now, Jim, come on with us. When you look at this deciphering, this piece right here, what are the numbers that you look at? Is it right in here that makes it distinct, or how do you know this? Well, that's the tank sticker for the car. Right. Uh, which, you know, it was put there. Some of that stuff is, is only known by the guys in the assembly plant to go ahead and grab box A, and that goes to this car. Yeah. But when we go back into our factory microfilm, we can go ahead and bring up all the build information on the car, which uh, I'm sure that that's in Tom's package here as well. Yeah. And I'm just noticing, so this one is restored how long is the restoration taken for something like this? About 15 months on this one. 15, that's pretty good. Yeah. That's not too bad. So this is a pretty good condition car. Let's talk about this piece. That's an important piece, and that that's usually doesn't come with a 66 Pontiac GTO. No, that's part of the Ram Air pan uh, seal that goes up to Let's the Let's grab that, and we'll show how this is all going to come together. As a matter of fact, so Jim, back to this for a second. So when we come through here, there we go. This is what you see. So what? Tell, tell us kind of how you look at this and decipher this. Well, first off, the big thing is this XS that's down in box number 74 and 75, or 75 and 76, rather. Yeah. That tells me the engine code for the car, which tells me that this car was a 1966 Ram Air GTO. Okay. This is This is one of the rare cars. And that right away tells you this is it. Which we go ahead and, and uh, I mean, it you know, shows that it's a, you know, it was a ivory car, red interior, 
and these are all the options and we decode them on a separate sheet which is here right here okay so then it comes to here it's like being with a surgeon when you're with Jim here he just dissects this very quickly which is wonderful and then I guess there's a second page I understand here yeah, that's the special order page this is the special order page would there be something on this page that tells you the same thing that but it's a Ram Air car or no of that other code? No, just that, just that, that code. code. Got it. Okay. So we got the important part. You've seen it. You can see this truck is phenomenal. It's basically a brand new 1966 GTO. Let's, uh, we are going to travel to the interior before we get to the engine. But I'm going to show you the dash. We'll open this. Let's hook that up. We're going to hook up the battery while I'm in the interior. Because we want to hear it fire. Jim, is there a different sound from the Ram Air? Okay, can you go get it? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Your Pontiac Motor Division. goes now usually when you see a 66 GTO it does not have that piece that pan no it does not have the pan now be before it was restored did it have that pan or was the pan yes. not there no the pan is the original pan that it's came the, with the original car. pan with the car and I'm noticing too the chrome valve covers is that unique to the car or no all the 66 has had that got it and then there's our tag as well Data plate. The lights were like that in this car? Yes. I should know better because your cars are all back all the way to factory, so much so that you can take a look at the pieces there. That's amazing. Now, have you driven this car? No. My cars don't get driven. They just go on and off the trailer. Well, we will fire it today. Okay. All right. All right. For the one time for the people, All right. and then we'll shut it down. Because these manifolds look like, well, they've never had any scorch no. to them. They're unscorched. Right. You know what I love too, and I'm sure this is all correct, the overspray? Yes, but yes, these were yes. the blocks they sat on on saw horses when they were spraying them. And that's why they're blacked out now, like now that. Now, do you know that because of you or Jim or a combination of the both of you? Or um, I mean, we've restored enough cars over the years yeah. to know that that's where they were, but yeah. we had all the documentation. This was an original paint car, um, so everything is back exactly the way we documented everything before we took it apart. Cool. Let's, uh, I hear another muscle car coming through. Let's, uh, let's fire it up, shall we? Somebody else is firing. We'll give them one moment to hunt fire.
as it comes to a halt. <laughs> All right. Now, I know it'll get caught up in here, so we're going to take that off. We're going to be cautious rather than... Uh, and is this actually the... Uh, um, can we... Does this have a hole in it, obviously? It so does, yeah. You can see that yeah, it's open see, here with the light. I can through. see that. And these now, cutouts for the factory. So those are cutouts for the factory for the hood. Uh-huh. For Got the, it. For the Just for the Ram Air Car. Yes. The regular uh, one didn't have, have that. Have that cut out now. So if you're looking at your GTO and you actually see that unique hood mm -hmm. with the air intakes, it's 105. Yes. Five. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm trying to comprehend that. All right. How many GTOs do you see but just 105? Oh, Jim, you've got something for us. There's, there's a reproduction of the original window sticker for the car. It used to be a very strong wow. Okay. And then for, for the, the display, show. I had it blown up oversized. That is really cool. Guys, okay, stand together, would you? Jim. <laughs> First of all, good to see you here in Illinois. Sometimes we see each other in Arizona. And uh, what a wonderful time. Guys, thanks so much for being at my car store. Not a Thank problem. You. Thank you.